Because we've been hearing a lot in the news recently about attempted child kidnappings. Most happen, believe it or not, broad daylight, out in public places, places you would never expect. And parents, of course, are fighting for their child's life. People are very brazen nowadays. They just think that they can get away with something and they go for it. Which is really scary to the point where we decided to do our own child abduction experiment with one worried mother. But first, Stacy actually sat down with the mother to get more of her story. I'm going to be here with you as we do this experiment on your kids to see exactly what happens when they're walking home from school and someone pulls up and tries to talk to them and lure them into the car. How old are your girls? My daughters are 11 and 9. And have they ever walked to or from school? No, but my children really want to walk to school and they really want to show their independence and I am extremely overprotective. Have you ever had a conversation with your kids about what to do if a stranger approaches them? I have had those conversations and we've gone over many different types of scenarios. I just don't know if any of it, anything I say has even set in, in their mind. Right, it's true. <laughs> Unless it's put into practice, you don't really know exactly. if what you tell them has set in. Okay, well, their kids are getting out of school any minute and they should be heading home, so let's go see what happens. All right, let's go. Our experiment driver, he's headed towards them now. Okay. Okay, they're getting really close to the car now. Uh oh, yeah, I think I see them all facing. It looks like it looks like they're talking to him. They are. Oh my gosh, <gasps> stepping up to the car. She's having a full conversation with him. What could they possibly be talking about? Okay, now Wait, oh, she... he's backing up. Oh, she's still talking to him. Look, it looks. Oh my God, they're running. Okay, oh my they're. God. We asked, of course, the mother there, at least, to be here, and that was pretty dramatic footage. It felt like the real thing. What did that experiment teach you? Um, well, it made me very happy that everything I have been trying to instill in my daughters really did, I mean, they were listening, because even though they unfortunately spoke to the driver, but they didn't get in the car because the person in the car asked them for if they wanted a ride, and. They said no, and they knew to start running when he started backing up the car, and it just really scared them. So I'm happy that they were in their minds right then, and they were able to have the coherency to just get away as quickly as they could. And well, clearly you've done a good job talking exactly. to them about what to do. I do. I think your kids did almost everything right. The one thing, and this may have not been something you told them, but we talked about afterwards, yes. and I want to say this to all parents. Your children should not talk to strangers if there is not an adult around, period. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter what they say. Someone could have reached in and grabbed her into the car and driven off, and the other kids there would have been completely helpless. And then the other thing that I always tell parents is, so we had this person pull over and, and start talking and asking for help. No adult needs help from a child. At all. You know, even something as, as, as Tom is asking for directions, I mean, anybody that is with it knows better than to, to ask a kid, and if they ignore you or start to run, that's the right thing to do. 100%.